Hey Sweets fam, it's Ashley Danielle and I am here to show you how to dip some chocolate coated grapes. One of my Chicago loyals requested an order last minute so I said hey let me film it for my subscribers. So let's get going. Of course the main ingredient to dip chocolate coated grapes is grapes and I typically get mine from Sam's Club but because this is a last minute order I went to my local Aldi. I purchased this brand from Aldi's a few times and the grapes are always really crisp. So I usually eat the red ones, so I'm gonna use the great ones to dip in chocolate. The green grapes can be kind of sour, so with the sweet coating of the chocolate, it meshes well. And here, I'm just gonna pick out as many grapes as I can to kind of do a ballpark range of how many grapes can fit into the box that I'm gonna put her order in. When looking for grapes, I'm looking for a good oval shape and nice and sturdy. And once we're finished, let's take these babies for a wash. Sweets fam, this is an imperative step to wash your produce. I have all the grapes that I'm gonna use here, and as I'm scooping to see, to make sure everything is nice and fresh, my hands are filthy. So let's get some of this dirt off and begin dipping. Washing produce is not a tedious task when it comes to my business. I usually start off with ice cold water and do a switch around like I'm doing now to get the top dirt off. Once I'm finished with that, I drain off the excess water and then I fill my bowl up again. This time, I'm gonna add some apple cider vinegar in the mixture. I typically use a fruit wash for my grapes, but today I did not have any, so I use apple cider vinegar. To me, it does a great job with cleaning produce. Switch it around really good to get the remaining dirt off, and then I am cleaning each grape individually the best way that I can so that I can get the excess dirt off. One last rinse, and then we're ready to begin dipping. Off camera, I gave these a really thorough drying with a paper towel. Now it's time for me to place these back in the refrigerator so they can chill before I begin dipping. I'm going to chill a chopping block as well, so when I begin dipping and placing it on the surface, it'll dry quickly and won't create a melting pool. Okay, here's the supplies that I'll be using. I purchased these clear containers from Walmart. They were a package of three for about $5. It was a last minute order, so I said, hey, these will do. These will do better than the paper boxes that I have to really showcase the grapes. We have our chocolate stirrer, some toothpicks, coated in color, oil-based coloring, some melting wafers, and then the client requested Sour Patch candies inside of her grape container. Here comes my absolute fun part. I love melting chocolate and dyeing it. Now that we have a smooth consistency because I melted the chocolate in 30 second intervals for a total of one minute, now we have this smooth consistency. I'm looking for a bubblegum shade of pink, so I'm gonna put a nice amount of coloring in here to achieve this beautiful shade. This chocolate spatula comes in the clutch when I'm stirring fast and still preventing bubbles in my chocolate. Because of the germs that gloves can hold, I do not use gloves when dipping my treats. I thoroughly wash my hands and then get straight to dipping. Let's get our grapes prepped to be dipped. Take a toothpick and press the toothpick in the bottom of each grape and push down to us about halfway through. Make sure you are pushing in thoroughly enough because if you don't push in all the way, your grape will begin to slip as you're dipping. And if you place it all the way through, then you'll get a hole at the top of your grate, which will cause some of the juices to seep through. Now that all our grapes are prepped, let's dip. Remember I told you about that chopping block? This is gonna go underneath our silicone mat as we begin to dip our grapes. I'm gonna show you how effective this is shortly. Some tree makers like to fully submerge their grapes as they're dipping and some like to leave a little green at the top. It's really just your personal preference. As you can see here, I'm shaking all the excess chocolate off of my grape and my grape is not falling off of the toothpick because of how far we place the toothpick inside of the grape. You don't have to scrape the bottom of the grape to get the excess chocolate off because our grapes are chilled as well as our surface. So this allows the chocolate to dry quicker. For 
Remember I told you I would tell you why I chill my chopping block when dipping? Here's why. The chopping block almost instantly frees the bottom of my grape to prevent that melting pool. Now let's start dipping. You need a firm hold on the toothpick and an easy glide on the drizzle bag. Let's dip a few more together. Next up will be a quick marble design. You take some white chocolate and drop a few drips of your coloring inside your white chocolate and swish it around with a toothpick like this. The goal is the primary color to be your white chocolate with some colored streaks on your design. A tip for dipping with marble, don't just pull straight up, swish your treat around so that you get a swirling effect. If you would like to see a full marble tutorial from me, let me know in the comments. A treat really isn't a treat without some edible glitter. Today I'm gonna use coated in color and ebony and just sprinkle a little bit on top. For optimal results, do this as the chocolate is beginning to harden. Now this is the part that can make or break your design, removing the toothpick from your grape. This needs to be done with grace and ease. Using one hand, grip your grape. Using the other hand, gently twirl the toothpick out of the grape. Now let's get to packaging. I am a sucker for packaging because this is what catches your customer's eye first. I love these plastic containers because they're a two-piece set and I always have a cushion at the bottom of my treats. As of lately, what's trending is marshmallows, so I put some at the bottom for another edible treat. Now let's begin to place down our grapes. The pink grapes are the star of the show, so I made sure I layered those down first. Then we are gonna add in some of the marble grapes for fillers. And then here is our full set. I was able to fit about 40 grapes inside of this container. The customer requested the Sour Patch Candy, so we placed those in there as well. And here is our finished product. Let's put the top on, securing tightly. And then, of course, no order is complete without our Berry Patch logo. Dipping is truly a passion of mine, and I enjoyed sharing this dipping video with you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share with a fellow treat maker, and let me know in the comments what we should dip or teach next.